Despicable Deadpool number 288 by Jerry Duggan and Scott Koblish. Cable sits in prison, accused of being strife and warning the TVA officer that Deadpool is probably on his way. The officer doubts this being able to happen until Cable explains how. Using the Avengers database to map known past TVA encounters, getting information out of that person, and now he's probably about to walk through the door. Meanwhile, Deadpool uses the severed head of another officer to gain entry, using the retinal scans, and is searching for Cable. His story, though, spooked the guard enough to grant him a phone call. The time traveler calls his very old future self and explains what happened, but the advice that he provides isn't very helpful. Either way, the guard gives him a rifle and he steps out of the cells to fight. Deadpool is leaving a trail of blood on his way through the prison. Still equipped with Cable's time-traveling arm, he continues his murder trek until finally he sees him. Stabbing the guard, he puts a gun to Cable's head. As he prepares to fire, Cable congratulates him for almost pulling it off, but in the process speaks some words that immediately puts the arm back in his control. He then uses it to beat the undying Motormouth. He calls for his AI Bell to run disinfectant protocols. She puts the little devil Deadpool AI in the wood chipper for a quick Fargo joke. Cable rips his arm off Wade and reattaches it. He lowers his machine gun and tells him that when he wakes up, there's going to be a lot of questions about Strife. If he doesn't like it, he's going to end his Deadpool problem once and for all. He squeezes the trigger, and with that, we're left to be continued. One of my youngest forays into comics was associated with the end of the New Mutants. Issue 98 introduced us to old Wade Wilson, and an X-Force series later kept him voiced for a long time by his creator, Rob Liefeld. I complain loudly about Jerry Duggan's writing in the past, but he solidly brought this character's voice to him in a serious and still quippy way. For a long time he seemed just like a Joker slash Punisher hybrid, but a lot less maniacal. This time around, Duggan's totally getting it, and he deserves to be recognized for it. I give this one a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.